Can he get up here? He's, he's trying, isn't he? What? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What just happened? He, like, teleported into the next room. Since when did the fun temps add teleporting zombies to this game? That kind of scares me. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19 Stable. And in this episode, we are going to go do our next quest, which is actually right across the street, right there, which is amazing. You don't have to go very far for that. Um, but before we get started, we're going to take another trip to the trader. Um, and I also want to show you that we are now decked out in the best set of armor that we can uh, use that, that I was able to put together based upon what we had. So let's take a look at that. Uh, so right now, uh, we're wearing... Pretty much all uh, scrap armor except for these yellow iron boots that we got. Everything's fully repaired. And in uh, the helmet, I've got the helmet light. So now we finally have a light at nighttime. We don't have to use torches anymore. Vance muffled connectors is in there. Um, I've got these four mods uh, in my purple chest armor, which is great. Um, we've got these two mods in the, uh, the gloves. This mod in the pants. And then uh, we have the impact bracers in... Uh, the yellow uh, boots, okay? Uh, so that's where we're at. I don't have any more uh, mods that I can put on armor uh, at present. So that's just based upon everything that we've looted so far. Everything that I have in this bin, um, we're going to take and sell. Most of this stuff I've repaired. A, a few things that I just didn't deem worth blowing a repair kit on, I didn't, and we'll just sell them as is. But we should be able to make a fairly decent amount of moolah from that. So let's go over to the trader and get that taken care of first. And you know, now that we have a full suit of heavy armor on, we're going to we're gonna be a lot tougher than we were before. And we'll be able to take a few more hits. Um, and so, you know, that's going to make a difference, of course. So let's hop out of here. Do we have anything in here right now? Uh, let's just grab our money. Yeah. Okay. Now, I don't know if we are going to move slower too, but that's just the way it works. Uh, we're, you know, we'll, we'll no longer need to run long distances on foot, so, you know, moving slower is just not a big deal. Unfortunately, we don't have any, um, of the, uh, what's it called? Sugar butts. So we're just going to have to Everything sell all this as is. is. Sale. So let's take a look. So we're going to start off with fourteen ninety five. We want to sell the most valuable stuff to him first in each category. So we'll start with this purple. Uh, then we'll go with the green, then we'll go with the yellow. Okay, he'll take that. Let's start with the green helmet and the orange helmet. There's only one of those, so we'll sell that now. Uh, we'll do all of that stuff. All of that stuff. Okay, he doesn't want those, so we'll just scrap those. Those and 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 those. Oh, and this, because I already have one, so I don't need two of those. All right, so that brought us up to 41.30. We started off with 14-something, right? So nice little increase in cash. Oh, hey, let's sell this, too. Um, and this we'll just scrap. Okay, cool. So 43.19 is what we got. Like hot cakes. And I don't think he had anything else we wanted to buy necessarily. I wish he had a beaker, because that's, you know, that's what we need. We need beaker, and we need a couple more acid, too. We already bought the pistol from him, so we're sporting that. And I'll, I, I, I modded the pistol, too, so I'll show you that in just a second. I'm just taking one quick look. Okay, that's all stuff that we sold him. Pistol Pete Volume, that was the one that did the hollow points, which I don't think we really need that at this moment. So, yeah, I think uh, I was thinking about these, but we still don't have enough money, but we probably will when we finish the quest. Um... Yeah, it's just, I, got, I don't know, I don't it's iffy because if I don't find the other parts, you know, then we're going to end up having to get uh, Grease Monkey level 3, which requires Intellect 6. We do have Nerdy Glasses, I think we have Nerdy Glasses, which means we'd only have to get Intellect to 5 to get an effective 6. Um. Oh, we could actually do that now, couldn't we? We have a point. We could get that to five, and then we could actually make the motorcycle. Well, we'd have to we'd have to go to the next turn uh, first. All right. Well, I'm definitely not buying those handlebars at this point, then, because we might uh, we might have the motorcycle right around the corner, guys. It'd be fan freaking fantastic. Okay. So let's head on over to our quest. Uh, I want to get these uh, tier ones done as soon as possible, so that we can you know get up into tier two. So the questing's just a little bit better. The loot's a little bit better. 
the rewards are a little bit better, etc., etc. Okay, so um, most likely I have done this place before. So let's go ahead and just plan on doing a double loot. Um, I'm trying to think though. Where would the fat loots be? Probably, probably going to be upstairs would be my guess. So we have to go around through there. Oh yeah, we should uh, double loot this place if for no other reason to get the radiators too. So you know what? We're going to go through the whole thing because I want to get those radiators. That way we can get them twice. Um, so yeah, let's do that. All right, got somebody's attention. How many somebody's are there? Just one? We've got to put some we got to put some points in the handgun skill. <laughs> we just got to Okay, so this goes down there. So that means the game wants us to fall downstairs. Well, okay, I guess we just did. So we're probably not going to find any um uh radiators down here but you know since we fell downstairs we fell downstairs we'll just go through the whole thing we're going to do it twice uh, i was going to show you too i put the burning shaft mod on on the sledge and i put the cripple mod on the pistol uh which was on my purple shoddy and then i made myself um the hunter mod to put on the shoddy not because i'm going to kill animals with this but because it just does increase the damage because uh, I'd rather have the Cripplum on the pistol so that we have a chance to... Uh, I think that counts for headshots too, doesn't it? Uh, here, let's look at that again. Oh, it's only for legs, okay. Alright, well, it kind of doesn't really matter one way or the other then. Um, because, you know, if I if I go hunting, I'm going to use my rifle anyways for animals, so... Okay. Well, let's just uh, continue cruising through here as quick as possible. I'm not going to do basic looting. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll loot special stuff like that, especially because we need acid, but we're not going to, like, loot, you know, just normal cabinets and trash and that sort of thing. Our first time through. Okay, that is two Zika Ruskies. So we're going to block the door here. And we should get our axe down there for repair. And I think this is a job for some shotguns. Good gravy. That didn't kill you? That did. All right, moving out. Nothing behind there. Let's take those and then we'll come upstairs. Okay, there's another radiator. There's two more radiators. Let's grab the food. Um, I'm going to check the sink for acid. And we should look behind pictures because you never know what you're going to find behind a picture in this game. Check the coffee. There we go. Zombo's going to pop out somewhere. Probably from there. Is there a door here? Yes, there is. Okay, so we're actually safe in this room for the moment from getting rushed immediately at least so what i want to do is let's put this back down here <clears throat> and uh, we're going to take apart the radiators get the brass all right i think that's all we want to do in here let's check the bathroom we might have a zika ruski in here Get ready with this in case we do. Nope, all good. Uh, toilet pistol? 
We already had to buy a pistol because the game is so damn stingy it wouldn't give us a toilet pistol. All right, we've probably got... Yep, there's a Zikaru there. Let's just put a normal frame down. I don't think we need to upgrade it because if it's just this one Zikaru, we can Zikaru her. Okay. I have to retrain my fingers because I rearranged my toolbar back to what I normally would do. I usually put my melee weapon in the first slot. Um, and then, you know, oh, nice. Smaller weapons. Is this the cargo pocket mod? No, nah, it's not. Dog on it. Okay. Um, next, and then, you know, kind of work my way up to the, the bigger weapons. And then I put tools kind of in the middle to the right, and then medical and stuff all the way on the right. That's my modus operandi. I just had it changed up from before because I had so many blunderbusses on my, you know, on my toolbar. Um, I think I'm just going to scrap those. Okay, let's grab this um, radiator here. Couple clothes. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. That's, uh... So that's eight, seven. I think we're wearing coveralls, right? This is six, three. Yeah, actually, the that's, that is an upgrade for us. Okay, so let's modify those. We'll put the pocket mod on here instead, and we will wear the biker. Or gothic or whatever. And these will scrap a doodle. Okay. <clears throat> We got the biker boots too, but we're wearing um, yellow iron boots, so we're not going to put those biker boots on. That's it for in there. All right, up into the attic. So we might have a Zeke down this way, maybe. Nope, no Zeke around that way. Okay. Okay, let's get rid of this in case we have to put a. A frame down here. Nope, don't care about that stuff. Anything around the corner here? We got some trash. I know I said I wasn't going to check all the trash, but we'll check this trash because it's just right here and it might have something valuable in it, like um, specifically sewing kits. Okay. So let's open the. Oh shit! That didn't get anybody else's attention? Some lock picks there. Can I reach that trash from here? Nope. Oh, oh, yep, I can. Just barely. Uh, <laughs> wasn't worth the effort, was it? Okay, anything else back in here? There's some more trash there. There we go. Look at that. Two sewing kits and some feathers. That was worth the effort. We don't want that. We're going to scrap those. These sell for 55. Yeah, let's just scrap those too. I uh, don't care about the jars. We can scrap this. Just making a little bit of room here, folks. Making a little bit of room. All right. And this is the Fat Lutes room. It's also the Ronald McDonald room. Off with his head. Okay. Cool. Let's see what we got, and then we're going to just start this whole process all over again. Ah, nice. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Let's see. We have room on our boots, I believe. That opens up three more slots for us. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. Uh, let's check the working stiffs. We will take those. Don't care about that. And the fat loots. Oh, an upgrade for our, our legs. Okay, cool. Let's uh, switch these out. So...
that was actually a very nice find. Very nice indeed, because we have three more slots. Um, plus it's got uh, a 10 armor rating, whereas this one only had eight. So these will, we'll, we'll go ahead and sell because it's over 100 coin. These are not worth selling. We'll scrap a doodle them. They were two more armored than what we have on, but that's all right. Um, okay, so let's see. I think that's it. So what I'm going to do is run back down to the bike, unload, and then we will start the quest all over again. Well, I think I'm going to try and do for the second run through is let's see if we can go through it a little more quickly. Since we have the... Oh, wow, I'm glad I checked in here. Since we have the armor now, you know, we can take a... I mean, we're not going to be completely reckless, though, either, but let's see if we can move through it a little more quickly since we now have, you know, our armor on and we can take a couple more hits. Where is the bike? The bike is this way. Is this just normal wood? Yeah, I'm going to just break through here. Okay, guys, let's do this. So we should have a zombo in here. It's Arlene again, too, just like it was before. Oh, sh <laughs> she dropped down in the basement. Okay. Don't need to worry about her for the moment. And let's uh, continue to go after our radiators here. I wonder if there's something in this closet that we could loot. Doesn't look like it. All right. Um... Let's go ahead and break that. Can we get her from up here? There we go. That way we, when we jump down there, we're not just going to get immediately rushed. Okay, we got uh, Creepy Crawly again, sounds like. Come here, buddy. I heard him. I see his little red... Oh, here he comes. Deja vu, huh? Okay, let's check this. Uh, what are we wearing now? We're wearing a green. And yeah, th those are exactly the same. So no upgrade, it's just a cross grade, but we will sell that. Okay. Oh, Zombo's in there. Shouldn't be wasting ammunition on those. We don't have an abundance of ammo yet. We will, but we don't yet. Let's drink that just to free up the splot. We're getting rid of this. And we're getting rid of those. We'll eat that. And scrap-a-doodle this. Okay, anything up there? Not that I can see. Whoops, wrong button. Got somebody else's attention. Uh, just one. Nurse Nancy. We need to use our sledge a little bit more just to conserve ammo. Okay, so there's nothing back up in here. Uh, there is something in here, though. It's a Kim or medical thingamadoodle, thingamadoodle. Doodle ma thingle. Okay. Whoa, shit. That scared me. Uh, there. Oh, there's something back here, too. We must. Uh, did we miss that the first time? Oh, nice. Antibiotics. We'll take those. We shall take those. Yes, we shall. Is there something up there? All right, so let's go in here. We'll check this. Um, we'll just sell that. How about some good clothes? Is this the college jacket? No, it's just the jacket jacket. All right. What are we wearing right now? Oh, we already have a college jacket. Okay. Then we're fine, man. We're fine. can 
all kinds of trash noise on purpose just to see if we could flush somebody out. All right, so we're good up here like we were before. Let's just do a quick loot of the kitchen. got Arlene's attention. Jump back up there. <laughs> there we go. Toilet pistol? Of course not. Oh, we got some bandages, though. That's not so bad. Little duct tape action there. All right, so we should have a Zeke in that closet. Hello? Hello? What do we have here? 50% chance for power attacks to instantly charge stun batons. That's the tech junkie. All right, um... Let's close this door again. Oh, yeah. Here, you come up there, too. Just like your friend Arlene did earlier. Nice. Okay. If there's someone in here, they're getting blasted. Hola. Hello, Lola. I don't think there's anybody in there. Okay, check the clothes. Okay. Football helmet day. It must be football helmet day. Anything up there? Uh -uh. All right. Another purple blunder. Okay. Um, let's just continue cycling these out then. Uh, if we start to scrap this but cancel it, we get the ammunition back. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and read the yellow quests and we'll do another episode where we do yellow quests for the whole time like we did last time. That was kind of fun. Uh, so we'll do that again, but we're not going to do it right now. Um, nitrate, tin. Nah, we don't need tin nitrate. Let's drink this to get it out of the way. And, you know, these are really not worth hanging on to for selling, but we can scrap them for plastic. Anything else that we don't really need right at the moment? Uh, I think we're going to keep everything else. Oh, we never did read this, though. So let's do that, too. Okay. Okay, we'll take that stuff. Okay, no zombies in this first room. Let's check the trash for sewing kits. Pain pills are good too. Lord knows we need them. All right, we don't care about that. We don't care about this. We don't care about this. Last time we opened the door, there was a cheerleader standing right there. Her body's there, but her voice is still over there where she was before. Uh, I don't think we could get rushed from down below, but let's just play it safe. I can't put a thing there because her body's in the way. There we go. Okay. So that'll buy us a little bit of time. Uh, let's make sure everybody's loaded, too. I never loaded our new purple. Okay, that's loaded. Close that door behind us. Uh, we have one more Zeke to kill because we haven't finished our quest yet. Take that. Can 
just barely get to this. Well, we did last time, anyway. There we go. Okay. Don't want that. Don't want that. Return to Trader. Okay. So we are done with the quest. We might be a little bit pinned down, but we'll deal with those guys when the time comes. What do we have here? Okay, that's pretty good. We'll take that. We'll check the working stiffs again. It's kind of like almost the same stuff we got last time. All right, here's the fat loots. Okay, we've got um, an armor plating mod, which we should be able to put. I don't care about the stone arrows. Uh, should be able to put on one of our pieces here. Um, that's full, so let's put it on here. Give ourselves another point of armor. Uh, we don't want these. Let's scrap them. And I think we're good. All right, so... That takes care of this quest. Let's um, deal with these new Zikaruskis. Make sure everybody's fully loaded here. Yep. Can he get up here? He's, he's trying, isn't he? What? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What just happened? He, like, teleported into the next room. Since when did the fun temps add teleporting zombies to this game? That kind of scares me. What? <laughs> what the hell? Um, okay, here. Let's put that there and close that. Oh, and put that there. All right, so was is there a Zeke in here? No, not in here. Close the door. Okay, is that other zombo down here? He's probably he must be outside. Yeah, he must be outside. Okay. Wait, did we loot that? Yeah, we did. Alright guys, well, um, we obviously can't go to the trader tonight. So, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go back home. And I'm going to just mine uh, for the rest of the night. And then in the morning, we'll start the next episode at that point. And uh, we'll go to the trader, do our turn, and see what we get, and then go from there. Man, it was sure nice having that uh, quest location just right across the street from our house. It's a refreshing change, because usually you have to go a bazillion miles away. But anyway, that's it, guys, for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.